Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to Too Much Tech. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I know that I review a ton of products on this channel and it's kind of hard to see where I'm coming from when I say that I like something a little bit better than something else. Just to kind of let you guys know what I'm working with, kind of what some of my preferences are, I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek into the stuff that I use every day. My personal preference, even though I test all this stuff what do I always come back to? So that's what we're gonna get into right now. I'm gonna show you guys all the gear that I use in terms of PC gaming. Maybe at some point I'll do like another video talking about like camera gear and stuff like that. This is all the gear that I personally use when I am playing games and creating content, just kind of what lives on my desk when I'm not testing other products. So guys, when I am at my desk, this is normally what I see. I'm not really gonna talk about this corner of the room so much because I already did a full video on basically my console gaming setup. Right now it's kind of dismantled because I'm testing this HP monitor right now. Um, full review coming soon on this one. But normally I will have this 4K Asus monitor over here for the console gaming setup and uh, also where I shoot like reviews and all this stuff. But this is basically done. I got a whole video on this whole corner. So look that up if you guys wanna see what's going on over here in terms of the consoles and switch and all that crap. In terms of the PC where I spend most of my time, this is what we're normally looking at. So obviously I've got a full video on my PC build as well. I have, will have specs linked in the description below if you're interested in seeing what I'm running all the time. There's gonna be some changes coming to this in the near future. We're gonna do a whole nother video on that as well. So first things first, let's talk about the display. So we got the Alienware 25 right here. This is the FreeSync version, 240 hertz, 1080p, TN monitor, one millisecond response time. You guys know the one. Really popular this year as well as last year. The new version is out, it's 27 inches and it is ips but it is 1080p i'm not really with it personally for me 25 inches is the perfect screen size i am kind of ready to move up to 27 inches but just waiting for the perfect 1440p 27 inch monitor at 240 hertz to come out and then we'll go ahead and replace this baby with that i am really digging this hp omen but um, I don't know if I'm quite gonna switch it out because I feel like if I'm gonna spend that much money, I'd probably rather have one with native G-Sync anyways. But most of the time when I play, I don't even use G-Sync anyway. So it's not really that big of a deal. Then we've also got the Dell 1600p ultra wide monitor. This one is IPS. So a lot of people are wondering why, you know, I'm not really torn if a monitor is TN or IPS in terms of gaming, largely just because I don't really care because I have a nice IPS monitor when I'm creating content, when I'm watching videos on YouTube and all this stuff. This is what I do all my editing. I do all my content consumption on this monitor. It's 38 inches. It's ultra wide, it's IPS, it's super nice. So this is what I normally use for all of that stuff. Webcam, I have a Logitech C922 HD 60 FPS at 720p. It's kind of like the streamer staple. So uh, yeah, I'm sure everybody and their moms probably got one of these. Now in terms of headsets, what I normally use, this is my Astro A40TR Mixamp Pro, I think is what it's called. Yeah, Mixamp Pro. That is what I normally use in terms of my sound. And then I've got my A40s under here as well but normally these are what i use when i'm listening to music they're not necessarily the best headphones for listening to music but i do find them the most comfortable because obviously i wear them for long periods of time when i'm sitting here at my desk playing games which doesn't really happen very often these days mostly making content i will let you guys know that 2020 is going to be the year for me to experiment some more with audio i want to get a nice audio setup that's not a gaming headphone, something that is better for listening, creating content and listening to music and all that stuff. So 2020 is gonna be the year where I start to experiment more with audio. But I got the A40s for now. I do love them. They're super comfortable. I love them to death. I've been using them probably for the past like four years, like the different versions. Recently, I did just buy my first pair of A50s. They're over here. I will tell you this even before the full review, but the A50s and the A40s, they don't sound exactly the same. The A50s, they sound good, just not as good as the A40TRs, and it is noticeable. But they are still very good. They're extremely comfortable. They're lightweight. They're wireless, which is the main reason why I got them. They kind of fit the bill for me and these are a really good Xbox headset as well. Next, the mic that I use when I'm playing PC games, the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB. Normally, I don't use the mic built into the headset just because it's not nearly as good, and this is really close to my face, and um, it makes my voice sound pretty freaking good. So this is normally what I use when I'm playing games and all that stuff to chat with friends and do the fun stuff online. 
right? Then the phone that I use every day, an iPhone 11, probably gonna swap that out with an 11 Pro in the next couple of days. An iPad Pro 10.5 inch. Um, I didn't really care about getting the newest iPad Pro. I just wanted one with 120 hertz screen just because it looks so good. I got a really good deal on this one too. 500 bucks, 256 gigs, Apple Pencil and a keyboard all in one. So I got a really good deal on that. We got an Amazon Echo Dot. I think this is like the second or third generation, whatever it is. Don't really use it that much. It's just nice to know when my packages come in that it lets me know that they're here. And then here is the moment that you guys have all been waiting for. What keyboard and what mouse do I use on a regular basis? So before, I was using my Ducky 1-2 full size. I decided that I'm probably just gonna put some Miami keycaps on this thing and call it a day. Um, I don't really use it that much anymore, but I went through all that work and it's all custom and done up now and I can't get rid of it because I love it too much. But it's got Cherry Mix speeds and they are beautiful. Now I do have the Ann Pro 2. This one does have gator on rest switches and it is wireless as well. And I don't really notice a lot of like latency issues with this one. So most of the time when I'm gaming as well, unless I'm playing Fortnite, if I'm playing anything else, I'll usually use it in its wireless mode. But we moved a lot of the keycaps that I put on my custom ducky to the Ampro 2. So it's like a mini version. And honestly speaking, this is probably the best 60% keyboard in terms of RGB, ergonomics, customization that you can do to it with the software. Like Open's Lab did a really good freaking job. Like I love this thing to death. I can't wait for the Amp Pro 3 to come out. My only hope is that when the Amp Pro 3 comes out, please come out with Cherry MX Speeds. You 100% have got my money. Favorite gaming keyboard of 2019, the Amp Pro 2 Gatoron Reds. Try it. I would have got the Cherry MX Reds, but unfortunately the Cherry MX Reds only comes in the black version. I really wanted the white version for obvious reasons to match everything else. And then my mouse of choice is of course the Glorious Model O. This Model O has been customized a little bit. This one is the glossy white. I don't really love the glossy white if I'm being completely honest. It's too slippery and it makes my hands feel like they're sweating even if they aren't. So I'm not a big fan of the glossy but um, it is what it is. I wanted a white one at the time and the matte was sold out. Plus I kind of wanted to try the glossy to see if I would like it. And um, I'm glad I did because now I know I hate glossy mice, but it is comfortable. So I still use it. I did put some uh, ceramic skates on it. They work, but they do add to the weight as well. I did buy some hyperglides, but I don't want to waste them. I'm debating on if I'm going to buy another matte white model O or not and use it and uh, throw the hyperglides on there. But I'm pretty sure that when the model D comes out, I'm gonna swap out my dream cable paracord, put that on the Model D and use that with the big G skate. So I'm anticipating that I'm gonna switch this out within the month of December because that's when the Model D is coming out. Again, I do have a dream cable paracord. This thing, hands down, best paracord I've ever used. It's third party and um, yeah, it just works super duper well. I think I did a really good job with it. The only uh, little boo that we got there is on the mouse, we burned a little bit of uh, the end right there with my little dragon torch and then i do have the white glorious uh mouse bungee works pretty well works just as good as any other bungee i ever used now we do have a g wolf's hottie over here this mouse to me is more comfortable than the model o but i just really like the aesthetics of the model o the rgb and everything but um i'm debating on ordering a white hottie but i don't think i'm gonna do it just because i do like this red one and even if i get a white one i just won't use the red one so i'm gonna keep this one because i don't want to waste the money the hottie to me is more comfortable than the model o so that's why i'm hoping that the model d is the uh, most comfortable mouse of this year. And that's probably what is gonna live on my desk for most of 2020, if it is perfect, until they come out with uh, probably a wireless version or something like that, if that's in the plans for Glorious, which I hope that it is. And last but not least, we do have my Glorious 2XL mouse pad. This thing is a beast. Um, I, I know I need to wash it right now, so that is probably gonna happen in the next uh, week or so. But this thing is like super smooth. It glides excellently. Like look at how it glides like with the ceramic seats. It's just so smooth. There's like no resistance. It's got like the perfect amount of like speed and control. Like it's not obviously as slick as like a plastic speed pad, but it is really smooth and it glides really good with the Glorious G skates as well as some core pads that I've tried on my Model O Minus. And um, I'm just a really big fan of it. It looks really good. It's super clean. It's simple. It's black. It does come in white, I believe. And uh, the stitch edges are really nice. They don't get uncomfortable. They're pretty soft and I don't really notice them too much. 
the branding is minimal There's nothing really too crazy going on glorious they just put their simple logo in the bottom right and that is about it i'm debating on ordering a custom thor pad but i do like this one quite a bit so yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do <laughs> And then the desk that I'm currently using is the Ikea Linmon. Um, this is the long version. I think it's the 78 inch version. Um, at some point this will be replaced. I'll probably get a deeper desk um, that's wider just so I can have more space away from the monitor. And that'll probably give me a little bit more space when I finally decide to move up to a 27 inch monitor because I'm definitely gonna mount it again. Um, I found that mounting it gives, it gives me like the perfect position because I'm a little bit taller and if I leave it on the stand, normally I'll end up looking down and it kind of hurts like your posture a little bit. So mounting it to me is a lot more ergonomic and a lot more comfortable. So far, this is my current setup. This is what I'm using. This is what I prefer. If I review anything else, more than likely I'm coming back to one of these two mice until the Model D comes out. This is my mouse pad that I love to use. And this is the keyboard that I love. Monitor of choice, IPS monitor, probably the best there is other than the uh, LG 5K, which I'll probably upgrade to at some point. This is basically um, how my desk is gonna stay for the foreseeable future. The only upgrades that I plan on doing is swapping out the desk. And I did recently upgrade my chair thanks to Easy SMX. And we're gonna be doing a full video about this chair as well. So be on the lookout for that. This is probably the best chair that you can get under 200 bucks in general like yes it might look like a race chair or a gaming chair or whatever but it's really freaking comfortable and you would be surprised at how good this thing is that's gonna be it for this video today guys i hope you guys enjoyed this quick overview of the things that i like to use in my setup and uh yeah you guys drop comments on what you like to use personally in your setup i'm gonna leave everything linked below so if any of the stuff that i use interested you feel free to buy it on amazon i will have it linked be sure to follow me on twitter and instagram as well as drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new to too much tech also be sure to join the discord as well we love to talk about tech in there sometimes we play games just kind of depends on what we're feeling that night but uh yeah hop in the discord fam but until then i'll talk to you guys in the next video thanks again for coming through hope you guys have an awesome night